So I'm out drinking with a bunch of squaddies the other night. It was a Thursday. They recognised me because of my book. So, you know, we have a bit of banter about the book and a bit of a, a, bit of a sort of like chat about it and I answer a couple of questions. Anyway, they, I'll say where you're going. They say, we're off into town tonight. But they were a bit concerned because they said they couldn't get anywhere. So I said, look, I'll, I'll, I'll come with you. I don't believe you. You know, this is a bit, you know, I've not, I've not had that before. So they're saying, look, do, do a soldiers, we can't get anywhere. So we got back on the tube, bundled into town, got out of Leicester Square, went to a couple of boozers that they did know, absolutely no way, turned away before they even got there, um, before they got down the queues, you know what I mean? It was a waste of time. So then we, we, we disappeared down to a couple of bars that I know, um, the same thing, you know, more chance of Nelson getting his eye back. Just wasn't going to happen at all in any way, shape or form. Um, so in the end, I, I managed to singularly, one at a time, get them into a gay bar, which was about the only place that would house them. And that was only because they were fit young males. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, I basically say to them, you know, what's, what's all that about? And they say, look, anybody who fits our profile in a group is not going to go anywhere in town. I speak to a few bouncers and they more or less verify that they've got a ban on squaddies in town. It seems unfair to me that, that you know, because they're squaddies and maybe they have had a few nonsenses with them now and again, but it's, you know, it's, it, they're isolated incidences with isolated people. Why should they ban the whole lot of them? So what I want to try and do is raise the awareness of this amongst the community, you, you know, who, who are banning them and amongst the squaddies themselves and say, you know, serve a soldier. And if he becomes a pain in the ass, you know, then ban the individual. Don't ban the whole group because, you know, at the end of the day, they go through these difficult, hostile environments. They come home, they want to relax a little bit. You know, they blow a bit too much steam off now and again. Well, you know, tick them out. But don't, don't just sort of like blanket ban and say, no, no I'm not having any soldier in my bar because that's wrong. I want to run a campaign and I want to, I want to call it serve a soldier. And I want people to recognise that not all soldiers are bad blokes. You do get isolated incidences, yes, but you do with civilians too. So, you know, treat people with the respect they deserve when they come back from these places where they've been working hard and exactly as I say, serve a soldier.